Hi students, today we are discussing some important questions in chapter inversity functions. Let us discuss some important questions. So, tan inverse minus 1 plus cos inverse minus some right mu plus sin inverse. The value of tan inverse 1 is pi by 4. Tan inverse minus 1 is minus pi by 4. That is equal to minus pi by 4 plus. Cos inverse 1 by 2. Cos inverse 1 by 2 is pi by 3. Cos inverse 1 by 2 pi by 3. Cos inverse minus 1 by 2 pi minus pi by 3 pi minus pi by 3 so here it is pi minus pi by 3 sin inverse 1 by 2 pi by 6 so we have pi by 6 minus pi by 3 Minus 5 by 3 is 60. 5 by 6 is 30. Minus 60 plus 30. Minus 30. That is minus 5 by 6. 5 minus 5 by 4. Minus 5 by 6. Here, LCM is 12. So, 12 pi by 12. Minus 3 pi by 12. Plus minus again. 2 pi by 2. Now the denominators are same. We can write the numerators as it is. That is 12 pi minus 3 pi minus 2 pi divided by 12. 12 pi minus 3 pi minus 2 pi 7 pi by 12. 7 pi by 12. Isn't it? Next question. Find the value of Sine inverse sine pi by 3. Sine inverse sine pi by 3. Sine inverse sine x is x. Sine inverse sine x is equal to sine sine inverse x is equal to x. So sine inverse sine x is equal to pi by 3 which is slice in between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 this is the answer sin inverse sin pi by 2 now next question sin inverse sin 2 pi by 3 here 2 pi by 3 is 120 2 into pi by 3 is 120 Sin inverse x lies in between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 minus 90 to plus pi 90. So sin 2 pi by 2 can be written as sin inverse sin pi minus pi by 3. Pi minus pi by 3 is 2 pi by 3. 3 into pi 3 pi minus pi 2 pi by 3. Now sin inverse Sin pi minus theta sin theta. Sin pi minus theta is sin theta. Is equal to sin theta. So here sin goes sin is pi by 3. Pi by 3 is in between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. As in the first. Isn't it? Now cos inverse cos 2 pi by 3 cos inverse cos 2 pi by 3 2 pi by 3 is 120 degree cos inverse x lies in between 0 and 180 0 and 5 so here we can directly return as 2 pi by 3 in between closed interval 0 5 
with these guys, isn't it? Now, one question is cos inverse cos two pi by pi plus sin inverse sin two pi by pi. Here we have cos inverse cos two pi by pi is two pi by pi.
4 into 7 28 plus 3 into 1 3 by 21. Similarly, 3 into 7 21 into 1 21 minus 4 into 1 4 by 21. That 21 and 21. Get a cancer. That is equal to tan inverse 31 by 17. This is the answer. This question is important in the examination point of view. Find the simplest form of simplest form. First question, tan inverse. Root of 1 plus x square minus 1 by x. Here we got x is equal to tan theta. So root of 1 plus x square is equal to root of 1 plus r tan square theta. One plus tan square theta is six square theta. Root of six square theta is eight. Therefore, the expression can be written: tan inverse sec theta minus one by tan theta. Sec theta is one by cos theta. Tan inverse. 1 by cos theta minus 1 by sin theta by cos theta. Now cross multiply here we have 1 minus cos theta tan inverse 1 minus cos theta by cos theta divided by sin theta by cos theta, isn't it? Now cos theta and cos theta get cancelled. 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2 by sin theta can be written as 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. So, here 2 and 2 get cancelled on sin theta by 2 also get cancelled. Now tan inverse sin theta by 2 by cos theta by 2 tan theta by 2. That is tan inverse tan theta by 2. So theta by 2 is the now replacing the value of theta tan inverse x. Therefore Half in the time in this This is the answer. This question is also very important for the examination point of view. Now, next question is time rules sine x by 1 plus cos sine x can be that is tan inverse 2 sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 as in the previous question 1 plus cos x is in a standard form 2 cos square x by 2 here also 1 cos x by 2 and 1 2 get cancelled now tan inverse sin x by 2 by cos x by 2 is tan x by 2 so we get x by 2 is the simplest form of this function isn't it now another function is another function sin tan inverse cos x by 1 plus sin x cos x by 1 plus sin x 
here tan inverse cos x can be written as cos square x by 2 minus sin square x by 2 sub multiple angle and 1 plus sin x is in a standard form that is cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 the whole square 1 plus sin x is cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 the whole square 1 minus sin x is cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 the whole square so in the numerator that is tan inverse it can be factorized as a square minus b square plus b minus b so here it becomes cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 and uh, cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 that divided by here cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 the whole square similar terms will be eliminated now here we have tan inverse cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 by cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 now dividing each term by cos x by 2 that is equal to tan inverse dividing each term by cos x by 2 cos x by 2 by cos x by 2 is 1 sin x by 2 by cos x by 2 tan x by 2 similarly in the denominator cos x by 2 by cos x by 2 1 plus tan x by 2 now it is in a standard form that is tan inverse 1 minus tan x by 2 by 1 plus tan x by 2 tan by way 4 minus x by 2 tan by way 4 minus x by 2 so the simplest form of this function is pi by 4 minus x by 2 this is the simplest form of this function now let us take another function another function is tan inverse 3a square x minus x cube divided by a cube minus 3a x squared. In this function, so x is equal to tan theta. So the expression is equal to tan inverse. X is equal to a tan theta, not tan theta, x is equal to a tan theta. 3 a square into a tan theta minus a cube tan cube theta that divided by a cube minus 3 a into a square tan square theta. Now we have tan inverse a cube is common 3 tan theta minus tan cube theta a cube is taken from all these terms that divided by here also a cube is common 1 minus a square into a a cube is common 3 tan square theta Here a cube or a cube theta. So now it is in a standard form. 3 tan theta minus tan cube theta by 1 minus 3 tan square theta is tan 3 theta. So here it comes tan inverse tan 3 theta. That is a standard form. So we get 3 theta is the simplest form. Now we have to pre substitute the value of theta. A tan theta is equal to x 
tan theta is equal to x by a theta is equal to tan inverse x by a so the simplest form of this function is 3 into tan inverse x by a this is the simplest form isn't it this way we can find questions from the text and uh, do it yourself then you will be able to do such questions